Justin Jefferson is one of the best wide receivers in the entire NFL. So today, we are going to be trading him to a different NFL team every single year for the next five years to see if he can win a Super Bowl. For year one, we leave Justin Jefferson on the Minnesota Vikings, and then every year going forward, regardless if he wins a Super Bowl or not, he will be traded to a different NFL team, and he cannot be on the same team twice. But going into the first year, Justin Jefferson is one of the best wide receivers in the league, if not the best. 97 overall also has a superstar X factor. The Vikings at the halfway point of year one are only three and three, despite being 12 and four in real life. So if that doesn't tell you they're getting lucky in real life right now, I don't know what to tell you. Their luck has ran out in Madden, but let's go ahead and take a look at the receiving stats for Justin Jefferson. Six games in, that's important to note when we take a look at all the leaders for receiving this year because some players have played seven games. Justin Jefferson has had his bye, 619 yards, so a very good pace for the entire 17-game season. 45 receptions, two touchdowns, two gritties. His longest reception is 29 yards, and like I said, he played six games. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the receiving stats for the entire league. We have Cooper Cup with 800. 73 yards after that pretty much a drop off for everybody in the 600s but as you see a lot of these guys besides cooper cup actually who's only played six games and has 873 yards that's ridiculous this is actual insanity going into the last game of the year week 18 versus the bears the vikings are 12 and 4 in real life now they're 4 and 12, a complete 180 of their entire wins and losses here. They're 4 and 12. They're not going to the playoffs. A horrible season for Vikings fans all around. I don't really know what the reason is because Kirk Cousins actually having a pretty solid season. 33 touchdowns, 7 picks. For Justin Jefferson, definitely slowed down. Did not complete that pace of about 16, 1,700 yards that he was at at the beginning of the season. He has 1,300 yards. He played 15 games, one more to go. So maybe he gets to 1,400 yards, maybe 1,500. If he's very, very lucky and has an insane game, the last game of the season, 94 receptions. He has nine touchdowns, nine gritties. In terms of the entire NFL, I think he barely finds his way into like the top 10. Where is he at? I just pass him one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so he's 11th ranked out of the entire nfl and because the vikings had no chance to make the playoffs we simulated the last game they actually won it they go five and twelve this year let's see justin jefferson's final stat line where does he rank did he get to 1500 no, he didn't even get to 1,400. 1,373. Did get 100 catches on the year. Nine touchdowns. Where does he rank finally for the NFL? Let's see where we can find him here. About that 10 spot. Justin Jefferson cannot wait to get out of Minnesota, so we're not wasting any time. That was a horrible, horrible season. And instead of being on the Vikings... He's going to the best teams in the entire NFL, the Bills. Justin Jefferson is now a member of the Bills, which is extremely interesting because not only is he on the Bills, did you forget who changed teams from the Vikings to the Bills? That's also a wide receiver on this team. He is going to be on the same team with Stephon Diggs, but a 99 overall Justin Jefferson. He's completely maxed out. I assume he's going to be a 99 moving forward. As we take a look at the rest of the Bills roster, you have Josh Allen, obviously, so getting him an elite quarterback and Stephon Diggs on offense. And because this is Justin Jefferson's first time on a new team I want to watch at least one or two plays with him on the Bills and there he goes right to Justin Jefferson Josh Allen trying to connect with his new wide receiver on the first play and that one's actually going to be broken up but you have Diggs at the top of the screen Jefferson at the bottom Gabe Davis as well I think Singletary's in the backfield where's Josh going to go this time does he look for Diggs this time it's actually going to Gabe Davis, and he stays in bounds. What a catch by Gabe Davis. Now, I'm not normally going to jump into these games, but because I do want to get Justin Jefferson to catch on his new team, we're just going to catch one. We're maybe going to make a move. No, we're not. We're going to get tackled at the 24. I'm looking for Justin Jefferson to get out there. He's not out there. What's Josh Allen doing? Takes a big sack. So we got Diggs again at the top. We got Jefferson at the bottom. We got third and 11 at the 21. What's Josh Allen and the Bills looking to do here? They go for the end zone. They don't. They're just going to kick three, and we're going to skip to the middle of the season. So despite having two of the best wide receivers in the entire NFL on their roster and one of the best quarterbacks in the league on their roster, the Bills only managed to go four and three seven weeks through the season. Maybe there's some trouble when it comes to Diggs and Jefferson coexisting. I mean, Jefferson's off to a hot start, 732 yards. But yeah, Diggs, only 436 yards. I guess Jefferson is the wide receiver one on this team. He almost has double the catches. He has 300 more yards. He has double the touchdowns. He has four gritties on the season. Where does he rank in terms of all 
NFL receivers right now. Adam Thielen is leading all receivers in receiving yards this year with no Jefferson on the team. Cooper Cup in second at 843. And then we have Jefferson in third. What is going on with these teams with Justin Jefferson? The Bills are one of the best teams in the entire NFL. Somehow they're seven and nine and they're not going to make the playoffs. They're worse in the AFC East. Since they're not going to make the playoffs anyway, I'm jumping in and we're going to get Justin Jefferson a gritty on this team. We are going to get Justin Jefferson four gritties in this video because you've already seen it on the Vikings plenty of times, especially on this channel. But we're at least going to hit a gritty with Justin Jefferson with every single other NFL team that he's on this year. And Justin Jefferson hits the gritty with the Buffalo Bills. Maybe I should make that a separate video. Hitting a gritty with Justin Jefferson on every NFL team. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments. To end off this season with the Bills, Justin Jefferson totals 1,451 yards. Diggs isn't even the second highest leading receiver on this team. That's Gabe Davis breaking the 1,000 yard mark, which is pretty crazy to think about. In terms of the entire NFL, Justin Jefferson ranks about sixth or seventh. But the craziest thing is, and this is why Madden makes no sense, Adam Thielen leads the entire league in receiving with 1,748 yards. Amon Ross St. Brown, Juju, Terry McLaurin. That's crazy. So we go back to the wheel for year number three. Can he make the playoffs? That would be great. If he can't make it on the Bills, though. I don't know which team is gonna make it on. I guess we're going to New England. Year number three, Justin Jefferson still a 99 overall. He's 25 years of age. Again, with the superstar X Factor. Can a team just make the playoffs at least? I cannot believe the Vikings or the Bills didn't make the playoffs. I cannot believe that. This team does have some solid players though. Jacoby Myers, Allen Lazard's actually the wide receiver three. The offensive line is still very solid on this team. Hunter Henry, you have Ramondre Stevenson, you have Damian Harris. So this team can possibly make the playoffs, but I don't have too much hope after the last two teams didn't make it. Real quick, everyone, before we get back into the video, only about 4% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel, but let's get back into the video. Midway through year three, again, four and three, the Patriots, but that's not too bad. Some of the Bills are now six and one. The Bills are now six and one. They went seven and what ten last year when they had Jefferson. They don't have Jefferson anymore. Now they go six and one. That is crazy. Is Justin Jefferson cursed right now? Mac Jones having a pretty solid season of 17 touchdowns to four interceptions. Justin Jefferson, the second leading receiver on this team. Very well balanced offensive attack here from the New England Patriots. Jacoby Myers. 566 yards, Jefferson 477, Hunter Henry and Lazard also in the 400s. The Patriots are 9-7 with a chance to make the playoffs going into week 18, but they do have to face a 14-2, somehow 14-2, New York Jets team to get in. So for the first time, Justin Jefferson acts as a chance to make the playoffs if the Patriots win this game. The Jets are the number one seed. Mac Jones, you gotta hit somebody to pick up this first. You have Damian Harris wide open who picks it up. So I'm actually gonna go ahead once again and throw one pass to Justin Jefferson, but I'm only gonna throw him a quick slant for one first down. He's rocking the number five on this team. So they pick up the first down. Now we're going back to simulating. The Patriots actually scored a touchdown and we just missed it. The Patriots scored a touchdown here, so they take the lead. It would be really nice to see Jefferson win this game. We have a low scoring game here, but the Patriots do trail. They need to get a touchdown to tie this one up. Instead, the Jets go up by 10. They make it a seven point game. Jets score another touchdown to field goal. And this one's over again. Justin Jefferson will not be going to the playoffs in year three. I don't know why these teams cannot make the playoffs. It doesn't make any sense. Put him on the best team possible. He's going to the Rams, who should be good in Madden, at least. The Rams look a lot different in year four than they do in real life. It looks like Matthew Stafford either left the Rams or he retired due to injury. They still have 95 overall Cooper Cup, though. 99 Justin Jefferson. If we go ahead and take a look at the defense, Aaron Donald's still here. Jalen Ramsey's still here. But this team still needs a lot if they want to make the playoffs. The reverse jinx has successfully worked because the Rams, of all the teams we might have been on today, were probably the team I didn't think would make the playoffs. But they are 7-0. Madden often confuses me, and this is one of those times. Because this auto-generated quarterback we have, I believe, is either first or second in passing yards. And first or second in passing touchdowns. That's crazy. Cooper Cup, 669 yards receiving. Justin Jefferson, 556. But I'm just happy they're winning. A rough second after the season, but despite that, they are still a playoff team because the Rams finish 12 and 5, and they do have to play the first week of the playoffs against a 9 and 8 Cowboys team. But first, we got to take a look at the receiving stats here for Justin Jefferson this year. 1,213 on this team, 1,500 for Cooper Cup. So second on this team, and I doubt he's even top 10. 
in the NFL if we go ahead and take a look. Yeah, Jefferson's just about that 15 to 16 range. That is fine with me because all I'd like to see is Justin Jefferson make a Super Bowl. If he wins it, that would be great. If he doesn't, it's whatever. But we had to get one catch with him. Now let's sim it. We got a very close game in the fourth quarter. Rams are up five. They have the ball here. I believe they have a chance to ice it. Second and four. Cowboys have two more timeouts. They're in field goal range. Worst case, this becomes an eight-point game. You got Cup and Jefferson at the top of your screen. Obviously, they got to run it. Maybe throw it for the game here. They got Jefferson and Cooper Cup at the top of the screen once again. Do they throw it here? They got empty backfield. And he's picked off. Don't tell me he runs it back. Where was number two on the Cowboys going? Because he could have had a pick six. That was the only thing you could not do was throw a pick six. Will they get away with it? I think they do. They just get away with it. Why would you throw a pick six? If anything, take the sack, take your points. But they are lucky. The Rams are moving on to the divisional round. In the divisional round, they get the Giants. We are going to sim and hope they win. If they go to the championship, we're jumping in. And they lose. They had home field advantage. I thought they'd win. They had the better record. They were the better team. But the Giants beat them and go to the championship game. What teams are left to go to? The 49ers. And for the final year, the fifth year, Justin Jefferson is a 99 overall, 27 years of age. Can he win a Super Bowl with this 49ers team? You still have CMC, Debo, George Kittle is here. Is Nick Boza here? Nick Boza is not here. Fred Warner, a 99 overall though. And I don't think Trent Williams is here either. Halfway through year five and the 49ers are four and three. Will they make the playoffs? Will they make the Super Bowl? We will have to see. Jared Goff at the quarterback spot. 15 touchdowns to seven picks. Justin Jefferson leading the team and receiving 515 yards, six touchdowns, six gritties in seven games played. And the 49ers went from four and three to five and 12. Justin Jefferson is officially cursed and did not make the playoffs again. He did, however, get over 1,000 yards receiving again in this video with 81 receptions and about 1,200 yards. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what challenge, what video, do you want to see next? Peace.